Hi, in this video we're going to give you a quick overview of the Box Admin Console. So if you're using like a business account or higher, uh, you'll have access to the Admin Console and this is used to manage your organization. So, you know, think of a Box organization like, you know, a company uh, with internal users and other stuff that you can manage all from one place rather than just going with outside, you know, collaborators and that type of thing. So if you have the Admin Console down here, that means you have the right type of account. So you just click on it to load it. And you'll see it opens up a, a darker menu here with uh, new items. Then you have the insights at the top here. Um, you know, this is just a test account with two users. Add more users. Uh, if you want to export your folders and files reports. If you had any groups set up, you could do that. Then you have your activity, which you could change the range. Uh, if you want to show all activity or just downloads, edits, and so on. Uh, add another activity. If you click on this down arrow here, that'll download the activity your computer here, or you can click on view more. And this gives you a breakdown of everything that the users have been doing. Uh, downloaded, previewed when they logged in and so on. Uh, you could run reports from here. Schedule reports, have saved reports. Then also you have your top downloads here, uh, uploads, previews. If you hover over to kind of tell you how many of each you've had, uh, activity for box sign. So we have another video on how to use the box sign if you're interested in checking that out. Then geographic location. Then you go to your users and groups. Then you can manage your internal and external users. Think of your managed users as, let's say, uh, people in your organization or it's your company, that type of thing, and external users. Uh, you could think of it as just other people outside that you're collaborating with. So if I click on a user account, you could change the name, the email, notification email, require change of password, set a quota, status, uh, access permissions here, group access, that type of thing, and so on. Then you have your external users. Can't do as much here with them, just kind of select a folder that users can access and that type of thing. Then you have your groups. If you're using any groups, they show up here and you can manage those as well. And then you have content. Then we have file requests, so you can see any file requests we've made. We have a video on that as well. So if you want to send out a request to have people upload files to your Box account so they don't need to have a Box account to actually do this, so it comes in handy uh, for getting files really quickly rather than using email to have people send you files, that type of thing, especially if they're larger files. And you can manage them from here as well. Then you, know, you can filter it based on these criteria. And we have reports. So here's some reports that were run on shared links and box sign. So just a quick report on shared links. And then if you uh, open it, you probably want to download it because if you open it, uh, you'll have to pick a app that it might not work as well with. Like Notepad doesn't look that good, so you probably download it as a CSV and open it with Excel or whatever spreadsheet program you happen to use. Okay. Then governance, uh, you need an upgraded account for this. For uh, retention policies, trash policies, that type of thing. So, but here's what it does if you want to read about it. Then you have Relay. So this is used to create workflows, which I haven't done any on this account. And you have your templates. But there's no published templates here. That type of thing. You want to create a new workflow. Uh, platform for sandbox activity. If you want to do any testing, that kind of thing. Automation templates. So if you want to do, you know, command line activity, that type of thing, you come here and set that up. Apps. This will show you what apps you have installed in your account. And then you could, you know, disable them as needed if you don't want to use something. 
Edit your box drive configuration, recommended apps, published apps, default editors. So, you know, for Word document, you can change the defaults if you like. Individual app controls. So if you want to remove any applications that your users could use, you could do so from here to disable it, or if you want to need to do any configuration. Then, of course, you have accounts and billing. If you want to you know, check your uh, account status and billing information, you can go there. Then you have enterprise settings, which has a bunch of other options here. Uh, custom setup. So if you want to create a company profile, enable custom settings, uh, domain management, widget customization, if you want to allow it, file version limits, you have security, for application settings, application usage, and there's some more advanced controls uh, for how we use with a higher account here. Two-step verification, password requirements, uploads, content and sharing. Here you can control what kind of access and permission your users have, you know, for shared links, custom shared links, some roles, and you got the beta canvas here, content creation, file requests, relay, feed, auto expiration, trash settings. And you have settings for notifications, what, you, what you're going to be notified on. Here's the defaults for comments and deletes for own folders. Then you can set the stuff for joined folders as well. You want to do some disable email notifications, that kind of thing. I test your email settings. I change your email settings. Then you have your user settings. Uh, new user default settings. You know, you enable sync and shared contacts and so on. You know, when you create a new user. Uh, if you want to configure single sign-on. Uh, promote uses of box applications. Uh, diagnostic settings. So if you want your users to be able to access a, or grant access to box for support. I think if you do that, it gives them like, I don't remember if it's five days or five hours, something like that with five days access to your account for troubleshooting purposes. Then you have your mobile settings. Uh, if you're using a mobile device. Just like that. And passcode settings for mobile application. And then the box sign, like I said, for signature requests. Sign auto enable user permissions. Disclosure settings, customization, custom branding, and so on. So you can see there's a lot of stuff in the uh, box admin. So if you really want to get you know down the nitty gritty and manage your users, if you have a bunch of users, this is a great place to uh, kind of keep everything organized and keep everything working smoothly, uh, rather than having to rely on your external users to uh, do things the right way. So like I said, you'll need a business account or hire to. Uh, get the admin console, but like I said, I just wanted to give you a quick overview of all the sections here. You can kind of see what you can do with it in case you uh, don't have the admin console and you were thinking of upgrading. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.